Did you got to do the Pet Shop Boys though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Pet Shop Boys, man. Hi, welcome to the Last Chance Podcast. We are joined today by Ishua. And we're going to have a little intro, are we? Intro song? We're going to do the intro music? Um, Come on, Mikey. No, nah, man, this is my eight mile moment where I choked. <laughs> you choked? <laughs> oh, Mikey, you talked about Pet Shop Boys. You yeah, Pet Shop them. Boys. You can't let them down without Pet Shop Boys. It's Pet Shop Boy tonight because Mikey's on solo. Yeah, I'm on solo, <laughs> man. Fuck. Pet Shop Boy. Come on, Mikey. <laughs> And here's the intro music. So anyways, thanks for pronouncing our um, <laughs> band name correctly. Ah, so, uh, do you get many d- mispronunciations? Yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, the best one was um, we were at, we, we, want, we got nominated for an award for uh, Music Victoria. And we we're in this like fancy fucking, I don't know, it was an auditorium full of like big names. Uh, it was a Paul Kelly sitting at the, sitting at the front and like this guy just, struggling to fucking pronounce out he's like ish uh i as you are and like paul Kelly just like losing his shit over it really that, yeah that was like that was one of one of our favorite moments did they have a, did you get like big stars and little canapes well we didn't get the award so you know, yeah, well, did you get snacks though not even free beers for, oh, oh, what's the no, point of going sure we got one free beer though I don't remember. Otherwise, I, I would have cracked the shits, though, but at least one free beer would have yeah. done us good. So, yeah. Pretty yeah, sure we got a free beer. I was beer. pretty hammered, so maybe I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a shame. Like, no free beer. That's... Music Victoria. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're at, Music Victoria. <laughs> no free beer. You get sued for this, dude. Yeah, yeah edit that Maybe out. we'll miss out <laughs> for an award next yeah, year. Yeah, edit you're not this, getting uh, nominated yet. Yeah, I'm going for the fucking rudest band in Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> And then they'll Very pronounce it right that time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ishua. Yeah. Anyway, we should also say, not only do we have Mikey and Dom from Ishua, we also have guest host Leanne, who's finally came out. Reluctantly. Reluctantly. I wasn't prepared for this today. What song are you going to sing for us, Leanne? Yeah, Leanne. I've got them all. Go what, for tell it. Tell me what you want to hear. Pet Shop Girls, let's go. <laughs> Pet Shop Girl, yeah. I'll save that for later. No, I've, well, I've said this before, but you guys are like my fucked up parents I never, I never had, man. Never had. You know? <laughs> Jesus. We get that sometimes. We do get that sometimes. Yeah. It'd be, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're leaving a lot of damaged uh, children in the way. We got our theme song now, though. It's not yeah, Pet yeah. Shop Boys. Fuck it's Pet called Boys. Shout Out to Santo and Johnny, dude. Sleepwalk, baby. <laughs> This is 100%. Oh, it's not working now. Is this where we, we, we get flagged? I guess so, but let's just go with it. Yeah, we'll do it. that's right. We'll see. Get flagged hard. Yeah, I know. They probably won't even pick up on it. It's that bad. Man, how good is it? And then you... See, this just, just takes me back to La Bamba. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Like in that. Yeah. We've spent a lot of time driving around, um, touring and whatnot, and I think we've decided that this is our favorite song of all time. Well, me and Dom. Well, me and Mike, at least. Yeah. yeah. Like, we, uh, we spend a lot of time bunking together, sharing a lot of beds. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah ne- right. we never we never <laughs> get our own beds, right? So, Dharma, Pat gets her bed, Jim gets his own bed, me and Mikey... Because we're the, we're the bitches in the band. We have to uh, share, share a bed. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> just, we're the, just like share an earplug e- or headphone each. Share just a pillow, pillow though. Yeah. Pillow we're, and a we're headphone. The ir- the pillow. We're the irresponsible ones. Like, ah, you know, right. The, the rest of the guys, they're in love. You know, they're, they're, they're sorting their life out. And me and Dom just... <laughs> Listen, uh, <laughs> listening to Santo and Johnny sleep yeah, while yeah. cuddling to each other, sharing a pillow. Yeah. Well, that we'll, sounds quite nice for a touring story. Yeah. We'll, we'll play, we'll play like, heavy aggressive music and then we'll just go home and like chuck on Santo and Johnny and uh, Edge on spooning <laughs> each other um, <laughs> did you say Edge one another yeah like yeah it's a bit of edging but, bit you know, of edging yeah, yeah. yeah. just you know. Yeah. As a band, we've all made out with everybody except for uh. <laughs> so hold on, Gaz is yelled at us about <laughs> no, no, something. No, that's what I was saying. Pick up the mic. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. No, we got. Oh yes, I should be holding up the mic. Yeah. yeah. Continue. <laughs> Hence, yeah, you're edging the mic as well. Like, oh damn. Yeah. That's where the tension comes from. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's tension. Hear me now. Hear me now. It's Monday. We're not supposed to be good. Yeah. yeah, that's true. It's Monday, but I don't have a fucking job. So what's up with you guys, day. man? You give us the update. We should be interviewing you guys. You're the fun, you what know, interesting one. Yeah, 
We all know what you want to know. I don't know. What do I, <laughs> what do I don't need to I know, know that would I be juicy I'd to know? There's lots you don't need to know. Yeah, I think... Well, the, tell me some of the things we don't need to know, but that's juicy to know. Are there things that you can't legally disclose on there a are. public podcast? But, there yeah, are. Right. But, I mean, currently. I'm, currently. Like, we're not... Like, I think this comes out next Monday. So maybe by then. So maybe by then. Yeah. Well, why don't you just reschedule us next Monday? Yeah, I know. Who's the big one coming next Monday that we didn't get the slot for? I don't know yet. Let's say with the money left over. There's no fucking money <laughs> left over. Or let's start, <laughs> a, or let's, <laughs> or let's start a, uh, another one and uh, we'll get a ski lift from one side of Johnson Street to the That's other. That's a good idea. See, there been th- there's been big chats about the, the Johnson Street shuffle. We've yeah. been trying to raise yeah. money. For yeah, that. I've been going on about this ski lift for years. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it, that's, yeah. You're, that's right. You're the inventor of the ski lift, aren't you? Was it you? I mean, I got... Blackout drunk one day and uh, woke up uh, with a Facebook post that I uh, posted just like go fund me uh, for a ski lift from um, I think it was like from yeah from one side of Johnson Street to the other yeah and it'd just be like such a beautiful journey it would be wouldn't yeah it? Like, dangerous not They're at all beautiful. man like there'll be safety like we'll be strapped in how high are we t- how high is the ski lift like this high. No, it'll that go high. over the power lines. Over the power lines. Yeah. Oh right, so, so yeah, it, super safe. Yeah. If you, <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you are like you know it's fuck it man, we'll just walk. Yeah. But you'll you'll have a walk to like drunk people be like, hey man, hey, you, we're like, yeah. <laughs> dropping beers on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, it's Poodle down there. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if we're ever like, what do they call that? The monorail. Yeah. If we ever get a Simpsons. monorail, that'd be the first place, wouldn't it? Just a, a shuttle back Johnston. and forth. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Let's just encourage alcoholism and have like a monorail that goes to all the fucking yeah. The pub, Stop man. in each one. <laughs> <thing's laughs> <venue. laughs> I could see that. Make it green energy efficient, or I mean, fuck it, man. The world's gonna end anyways. Yeah, true. Shit. Just like, <laughs> yeah. Let's, I mean, let's, go, let's as well just get like dinosaurs to run it. Yeah, we could tell them that. Yeah, yeah. And it just terminates. It terminates the fucking uh, the, the old one on the corner. What's that one, Tankerville, dude? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, the, that's, 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 that's the final yeah. destination. Yeah. Right terminates there. at the Tankerville, one hundred percent. What a exactly. beautiful place. You know, the shit is really bad <laughs> in my life. If you see me at Tankerville, at really five a.m. Like, yeah, is that's, it, that, that's your point. Yeah, yeah. If, if you see me there, like on a Tuesday morning, oldie <laughs> <laughs> shop man. Yeah. <laughs> We always have fun time at the Tankerville, don't we? Yeah, for some generally. Reason, gen- we no, we all, do. We always end up there with um, with Jade from Dick Lord. Oh yeah, yeah. Always, like, and we it's just randomly like, we'll, like, <laughs> you're here too, like, oh, again. Yeah. yeah, we just sit in the smokers and. I feel smoke. like it's uh, it's like hanging out in like a, a fucking aisle in Coles with a pint. It is, isn't yeah, it? or Seven Eleven. It's just like real, yeah. You should buy vapes there, kind of vibe, you know. Oh, <laughs> then he's, <laughs> it needs more mirrors. I reckon. Try hard enough, you could probably sell find someone there sell that would sell their vape. Yeah, be yeah. half used. That's it's the lead. Like the lead. Oh, there Just we go. Be careful holding on to the bottom of it. Oh damn! You're ruining everything. I'm ruining Shame. Everything. We're really having a lot of technical issues tonight. What I'll, the hell? I'll, I'll, I'll hook up. Is that better? Yeah, That's you're back on now. There yeah. we go. I'll, I'll hook up. I'm putting this in warts and all. Yeah, it's, it's all good. It's all it's part people of the magic in and out. of podcasting, right? Oh, the police are out the front. Fun. Again? <laughs> Get them on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, have a chat. Yeah, well, okay, fair enough. Anyway. Are the cops want in a chat? Probably. They want to come on the pod? They yeah. Want to come in? Bring them on. I think they're gone. Fucking sergeant. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We've had lots of police around, like, Last year, well, not at last chance, but yeah. just like in the neighborhood's been popping off. Yeah, it's oh, been really? lately, hasn't month. it? Yeah. What's it's been popping been off? What's spicy. been popping off? Just the locals have been popping off. Like mm. they're, they're getting pretty, it's winter, they're cold, they're angry. Yeah, because yeah. I, I used to live like around the corner from here and I never had any issues yeah. at all. You, like, you, we get a few. But, yeah. You know, there's a lot of, uh, the fucked upness around <laughs> here. It's like, cause they've kind of just pushed everyone over here. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. So it's like they're fine. Yeah, like they just like to get high. It's yeah, like last chance getting high next to the last chance rock and roll. It's <laughs> last chance for everybody, motherfucker. Yeah, it yeah. works. Hey, you still let him in, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, well, well these sometimes. guys, are pre- these guys are pretty loose, but yeah, they're on next level loose. Yeah. No, I really admire the way you guys handle that 
when it does happen. Like, I think I was here the other week, and you know, someone who was pretty affected on all sorts of maybe meth, maybe heroin, but uh, the way you handled it, Leanne, was so gentle and calm. It just Did like, I, was I the one that handled it? Yeah, yeah, you completely diffused the situation, and you know, no, nobody even noticed. There wasn't even a drama. But there you go. Been, it's my job. Could have been. Yeah. Oh, you nice one, Leanne. Nice. You've got to treat them nice. But, yeah. you know, I think people only up. want some kindness, though. Yeah. Don't they, really? Yeah. Sometimes I like to say to people to diffuse it. I look at them and I'm like, have you had a bad day? What's happened today? Yeah, that's exactly Tell what you're doing. Like, yeah. What happened? <laughs> Tell me what's going on. You what? You do. You do well with it. You're a people person. Well, yeah. I don't know yeah. about that, but. But you know that's that's why people come here at five in the morning on a uh, you know Sunday. <laughs> 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 so what else? What's happening in Ishwa Land? In Ishwa Land, well, fuck heaps. Uh, we we just released an album that we spent two years writing. Mm. Uh, recorded it last year. We've we've been in the middle of a tour that's not quite over yet. Um, I guess in Australia when you tour. You you just do it over weekends, so yeah. it's like yeah. yeah, it's like I'm on tour, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just a yeah, yeah. There's a bit of gap in between. Yeah, yeah. so we're currently on tour. It's like we're, we're yeah. on tour for the next seven weeks, but it's only four. You know, <laughs> yeah, like four weekends, shows. Really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll be up in uh, Nambour and Brisbane this, this weekend. weekend. Yeah. Nice. We're gonna play Wayne's uh, 40th birthday. So Shout out to Wayne. <laughs> That's yeah. gonna be so good. That's gonna be super That's cool. That's here at the last chance. And not massive. Not yeah, just hosted n- by you two, dude. Yeah. So all right. That'll not, be good. Not just Wayne, it's uh, King Bean as well. Oh, King Bean yeah, as well. Yeah, yes. too, yeah. yeah, I think he's a very underappreciated like, yeah. archivist. Um, he's, he's done so much for us, <laughs> shooting so, video clips and film clips for us yeah. and f- you know all that. So shout out to King Bean as well. We got yeah. th- there's a sticker in one of the bathrooms at the moment. I actually took a photo of it today. Yeah. And it's it. possibly one of the best fucking stickers we've ever had put up. I got old Shark Tank on his ass once and I was like, you need to fucking like, you know. Get some money out of this. Put up like, a Patreon. Dude, I was literally <laughs> just laughing at that two seconds ago. Yeah. It's so amazing. I'm not sure if I can get this <laughs> in the shot. Can you describe it, Shane? I do it. Okay, I'm going to describe it as it's like, think the thing, what do they call them? The thing that comes out of the pots in Mario it's a Brothers? Super Mario. It's, it's like Super the, Mario. Uh, what are they like called? It's like the Venus flytrap. Yeah, thing. that comes up out of the pot. Yeah. And it's coming. Out of a pot, <laughs> and and it's basically just sucking on someone's balls. But yeah, that happened to my buddy Eric. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's one time. Yeah, I was it's literally laughing out two seconds ago, and that's amazing. It's great, isn't it's it? It's so good. It's yeah. just like every bit of artwork that comes through that that they do is just like so good. Well, you can't, you can't top that. You should and put then, that as a T-shirt and sell that part oh, of the fundraising. Got, oh, we used to have all the posters up, didn't we? Yeah, and like, some people would walk past and um, get really offended. Yeah, really. we got a couple of it complaints, and it was we'd just laugh and go, "This is fantastic." Yeah, like, really this is what it should about be. Well, so, anyway, if you want to check it out, it's displeasing designs, isn't it, on Instagram? Yes. Displeasing designs. And I'll check it out. Go to displeasing.com.au and seriously. Best artwork, funniest artwork. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, that's what we're always laughing at. Uh, Porus Walker. Porus Walker. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just like just dicks and assholes and <laughs> yeah. just like the most childish drawing you can think about. And he's just his imagination is he's up there with the greats, the greats, the greatest thinkers. Who is it? Uh, Porus Walker. Not, not he's like so similar to like uh, I guess David the Robot, which is like another one. It's just like it's just dicks and assholes and yeah, right. yeah it's, it's just filth. Yeah, just filth. Yeah. It's it's incredible. Like it's but you can it's be amazing humorous what... with filth. Like if you look at that yeah. one there, it's like that's fucking funny. Yeah, but all filth is funny though, isn't it? It's just amazing. It's a Venn diagram, basically. It is, yeah. yeah. It's a big Venn diagram. Just yeah, what, like the it's... human mind is capable of thinking of sometimes just for astounds me. Like you know. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, I'm never surprised though. I might be astounded, but never surprised by some of it. Like that that surprised me yeah. a little bit. Yeah, because I didn't think I never ever thought that you could get the thing from whatever they are. The fla- they're flowers, aren't they? Yeah, my mind doesn't think things like no, that. No, not coming out of an asshole and then sucking on a pair of balls like oh, that's man. all that's going on in my brain is like that monkey with the arm. Um, yeah, symbol. that yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
That's it's mine most of the time. It's like if you're like, what are you thinking about? Jesus, Mikey, that's that's the what mine, I'm mine's <laughs> just got the one symbol. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not even make a noise. It's just like moving. Yeah, and enough function to survive. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be like that. Hmm. But how is um how has the album been? Because were you did your your started before the fucking lockdown, didn't you? Yeah. So but we then, we started. Dom wasn't in the band yet, so he can't mm. speak for this. But um, yeah. we we started at the end of 2019, and Dharma is the brainchild of the whole uh, yep. project. Shout out Dharma. Dharma. Um, so Dharma kind of just roped us all together. Um, you know, we had some members of Carsonoid in the band. Um, I didn't really know anybody prior. I met everybody in the beer garden at the Bendy. And uh, I was I was actually terrified of Dom when I first met her. But uh, really? I got a DM from her one day. It was just like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, did I fucking black out <laughs> at last chance and fucking say something rude? But um, it was uh, to ask if I wanted to sing in this uh, Doom band. Yeah. And um, my other band was kind of dying in the ass at the time. And you thought, why not? What's that? Did you think, why not? Why not? Yeah, I was like, why not, man? I got to do something on Wednesday. And then... Um, yeah, we all got on real well. The music started sounding fucking great. Um, lockdown happened like the week before COVID. We were like making big plans to play shows and all this and that. But then something happened. Yeah. Um, and then we kind of spent our lockdowns kind of still planning, sending each other riffs, a couple of illegal jams. Um and then, yeah, once shit opened up again, there was, like, a real good opportunity to, like, play, even though obviously reduced capacity and whatnot. Yeah. But um, there were places like here, Old Bar, if we can mm. mention other places, that were just having, like, empty Friday and Saturday night slots with no bands to play yeah. on. So I kind of just jumped in at that point and booked this show before we were ready or confident enough to play and uh, rocked into jam room one day. It was just like, hey, guys, we got to play a show in March. Yeah. And then we didn't have any recorded music at that point. So I got our friend Dave Long, Tulsa Doom. Shout out Tulsa Doom. Tulsa Doom. I was like, hey, can you make us a badass poster? Like, advertise it as, like, a horrible night of soul-destroying Doom. And um, did the old tactic of just chucking up posters everywhere in fucking Johnson Street. Yeah. Flyer and every motherfucker with long hair I saw. And um yeah, it was just like the perfect opportunism. Yeah, we had. it was yeah. uh <laughs> it was Cole's Cole's first uh first gig as well as a new band. So it was double duo new um new set, you know, yeah. with two bands, so that was good. And Dave doing such awesome artwork really did, you know, probably make that gig very successful considering, you know, both of us were just brand new, so you know, shout yeah. out to both of them. And that just like Almost goes to speak as like the the flyer art, yeah, is always it's important, just art. as important yeah. as the show. Like. That's why that Super Mario flyer art. With <laughs> That's that, right. Uh, That's you know, true. Fire like, come out the bum. We've spoken about this a lot, you know? but it's interesting you mentioned the Utilize flyering that. thing and, and and postering up posters because yeah. I'd still like that to me is what got me in finding local venues. Yeah, and you don't see it as much like occasionally we will see a poster out the front but it's very rare yeah and you know like just going along and doing a poster run is i think something that you we sh it should be encouraged yeah we yeah. we even did that for our album launch and like i reckon it did make a difference and it's still 100 nice. percent. it's still nice to see them up there like obviously some if, people have ripped them down so yeah. if you got beef Hit me up. Well, so you... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, we can but, sort it out. July 15th, last chance, right? Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> it, 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 it's important, like, because I a lot of the things that I'll see, like, walk, walking even between venues along Johnson Street, like, you know, like, the, here's an argument against the fucking uh, cable car. Yeah. Is the fact that, like, I'll stop and look at the posters. Like, yeah. I'm, you know, like, but I don't know if it's, like, councils discourage it or... I know City of Melbourne really discourage it. I don't know if you guys do it, but a lot of other venues, like you have to sign a waiver where if you do do that, yeah. you've got the, uh, it, it all falls on you. Yeah. The, um, the, I th that is something I think that we have to do. I think we have to do. Yeah. I think we've got done once for it. Yeah, it's, we did, yeah, didn't right. we? Yeah. What it's happened? The risk you take. What happened to you guys? Council can fine you. Oh. 
Did you yes. get fined big bucks? No, they just... We didn't get fined, didn't but get they were fine. very unhappy. Yeah. Right. I they think just they were... came in for a few Jaeger bombs and yeah. you guys are all... Everything was sweet. That's all good. Yeah. No, but they, they really strongly discourage it, yeah. which I don't get because it's like it's an essential... But like To me, it's like kind of like people should be allowed to put stuff up on a poster. But it was kind of fun. It was like me, Dom and Dama on like a rainy, shitty fucking Monday night. After eating Mario's. <laughs> yeah, after, yeah, after going yeah. to Mario's. We were just so full, drunk on red wine. And we had like one person spotting, the other person holding up the poster. And the other one was like, quick, let's go to the rap, rap, night, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you we, go, did you go uh, glue or the old... No, tape. tape. Went sticky yeah. tape. tape. Sticky tape, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We ran out of tape. But they're still there. I'm still seeing them. Like, it's, it's also real nice even after the event. To still like spot them, yeah, the and they, it reminds people what they missed out on. Yeah, I, like, I make sure I go to the next one. Yeah, yeah, it's like I never got into graffiti, but that's like I can understand the uh, the thrill, the thrill, of, uh, yeah. yeah. Even getting stickers yeah. and like putting your stickers up and shit, man. It's uh, it's good fun. Yeah, like, I don't get stickers. We don't get stickers for the band to give to our fans. We get them for ourselves. So we just can... stick up everywhere. Yeah, that. yeah. I, yeah. yeah. One, do we have stickers Dude. around? I don't know. Do you have one? I've got a. I've got I know, a I know, I know there's a on myself. Though. There's one out the front. But yeah, I know there's an issue one out the front. Yeah, yeah. There's an issue one on the toilet too. I saw one earlier. Is there? Yeah, there, there is. Go. There is. Yeah, I got one in a real good spot, and like, I yeah, fuck, man. It was like right on the toilet bowl, and I was like, don't touch anything. Was that here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I was right. trying to think of who put their like their like their fingers that's into it, man. Because that's who's doing filth, that? dude. Who's dude. Confidence, man. He's very careful. Commitment. Yeah. But fuck, man. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. If but you shook what? my hand that night, please yeah. get tested. <laughs> <laughs> Have you found like, you know, because what? So you've basically really been a band for. What, a bit over a year then, really, isn't it? Yeah, I guess... Um, oh, 18 months? The first year post-COVID, yeah. I guess our tactic was just to play heaps and just get in everyone's face. Yeah. Um. So I think we played about 35, like th- about 30 or something shows last year. Shit. And um, that was like every weekend, like, you know, our relationship suffered and fucking everything yeah. went to shit, but... um. What, Damn, man, mine and yours from sharing a bed? Yeah. Nah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. That pillow got a little bit like... Yeah, separated. we just have to flip that pillow we'll back and forth from us both <laughs> drooling on the same side every night, you know? Um, but 30 shows in a year is a That was fun. Yeah. We all love each other. We're like yeah. best buddies. It yeah. worked, though. It definitely worked. Yeah, like, um, I think... You kind of have to do that in the early s- stages of a band. It's yeah. just um, getting everyone's face. Yeah. Um, and like, yeah, cool flyers and having like a logo or brands kind of go- goes a long way. Like that was like a very early conversation in the band was whatever we have as our like font or logo has to be the same throughout throughout yeah. like it, it needs to be consistent and like a lot of the time we still we still use dave for our artwork because it's consistent, consistent and kind of still tells the story mm. from <clears throat> everything and even with our artwork uh my housemate alex who's an amazing photographer alex alex moms if uh you're on instagram um yeah like we've been using him for our album artworks and probably will continue to use his like work because yeah. if you see the two, if you see our two records together, like it, it's very consistent. Yeah. And I think there's a the consistency, and I guess our band, whether or not we we intend to, it it does tell a, a story of you know our experience on this uh, cold dark earth, man. <laughs> is, that, is that something you just work out though? Like, is it is that what you sure are about? Um, or is it a? I don't think we've got like a set intention, yeah. but our interpretations mean something to us. It's a musical each in- reflection. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a reflection, and fuck, it means it means absolutely everything to all of us. Like yeah. especially in our thirties, we're just like this is our last crack of yeah. doing a band as serious as we it's can. It's our last chance yeah. to rock and roll. <laughs> That's right. As someone who, I like, literally, not left, well, get, I'm out of my 30s soon, aren't I? No, you've still got a few years. No, I don't. 
You do. Oh, hey, we're all you absolutely do, Shane. No, you're 37. <laughs> you're 38. 38. You got two more years. You're fine. God damn, man. Hold on. I don't know how old I am. <laughs> no, because I'm almost two years older than you. So you're 38. No, I, yeah, I turn 40 next year. You don't. Yeah, I do. What are you doing for the 40th, man? Are you getting a jumping castle, a clown, pass the pasta, a pinata? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, man. <laughs> no, no pinata. Too messy to clean up. Yeah, no pinata. Does McDonald's still host parties? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, you, you can just go to the playground at McDonald's. Just go to the playground. Yeah, who needs to go to McDonald's? You just go to the playground. We'll yeah. do it on a Sunday yeah. afternoon once this shots. We'll yeah. Everyone roll, straight roll down there. there. Yeah. Get, get a couple of Happy Meals. Yeah. <laughs> Fred or Frog Do, do you still get like the little, like, don't they, didn't they give you the little hat? Or something there. Did that? I don't know. I never, I never was at McDonald's. I, so. I was a Hungry Jack's birthday kid once. I don't know why my mum took me to Hungry Jack's and not McDonald's. Burgers are better. That's right. I'm pretty sure their cake was an ice cream cake. It was. Damn, that's like the best. I'm not a cake guy, but an ice cream cake. <laughs> hey, if it's going to be cake, it's going to be ice cream. Yeah, if it's an ice cream cake, fucking damn, man, I'm in. It's best of both worlds. Yeah, invite me over to your birthday. Yeah. Hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Like 40th. I don't know. I'll probably get drunk and yeah. watch bands. Be silly. Be. Yeah. Probably. Our last few birthdays. The last few birthdays. Kind of like this birthday, you went home at midnight. Yeah. And you yeah, didn't even right. want to go. You're sitting in bed and you're like, I don't want to go oh, to my yeah. birthday. No, nah, you can't be a party <laughs> pooping your own birthday, man. Well, I think I had to be. I think I'd... You didn't have to be. Really? No, it I was... It was raining. It was a bit chilly. Was chilly. Oh, and we just didn't KFC. Yeah. yeah that like sounds like the best birthday ever. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Were you watching yeah. anything in particular? Hi? Were you watching anything in particular while eating your KFC or what? Well, no, because we were hungover. Because something... There was an event the night before and we I cooked it. Remember. You cooked your own KFC. No, no, we cooked, cooked it. Oh, <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm not Australian. I'm still learning the fucking uh, lingo, if that's what you call yeah, it. Yeah. No, I, 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 I you cooked it. That's what it means. Okay. Yeah. Cooked what? Cooked your own KFC. Dude, isn't it just fried chicken by that point? You know? But anyways. It's fried. Yeah, we're pretty fried. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah, fried. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, 40th. I don't know. We'll have another. We, we are, me and a couple of people have a birthday party every year together because we're all born. Like, yeah. Within, Couple of days of each other. Nice. On the day of the know. Titanic. I don't know sank. where we'll have it. We might book a venue out over yeah. in Collingwood. And is it actually? Uh, yeah, that's so. Shane's day, born it? on April thirteenth or April fourteenth. Fourteenth. Right? Right? Titanic... My mom's born on April fourteenth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It started sinking. Started sinking that's how I remember his birthday yeah, every year. Right. It's like yeah. I turned thirty last year, and all my friends screen print like Alan, Stacy got like the worst photo of me, the most fucked up at a festival photo that he could find. And screen printed it on T-shirts, and I rocked up to my thirtieth, you know, beers with my friends, and everyone was wearing a shirt, shirt. with my <laughs> face printed on it. Yeah. So you know that. That's, that's kind of that's, nice. That's that was nice. Quite thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> it, they still sure. backhanded. Thoughtful. Yeah. Thoughtful. It's thoughtful. Yeah. In a cunty way. But he still like hustled off it. He was like, "Yeah, I'll sell these shirts twenty five ahead." Pretty yeah. sure he said fifty ahead. I yeah. think. The memory, maybe. <laughs> but then he, uh, yeah, the, the money he made, he gave to me for my 30th. Oh, so that's a nice on, idea. That's, that's okay. a good idea. To spend yeah. on whatever I wanted. Yeah. What you was could, it you, that you spent it on, like, you know? I can't say that on a YouTube <laughs> oh, you, podcast. <laughs> we get flagged. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to get flagged. <laughs> but um, let's just say I, uh, I invested in some, some stocks. Stocks. NASDAQ, Dow <laughs> Jones. <laughs> play the market. Yeah, play in the market, man. You know, I'm, I don't have a job at the moment, so, you know, I'm starting to get into day trading. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to get the like, wins where you get the wins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck. Crypto was a fun thing a couple of years ago. Did, but you, did you get into crypto? Oh, I had a brief moment, but I got into it too late. Like I, did, um, I still don't understand it. I like, still don't understand. I don't either. I don't. I do, like, do but fuck? I don't yeah, no. understand. When uh, I was looking on Reddit threads and everyone was like panicking and like people putting up like the suicide hotline number, I was like, "That's the time to fucking." That's get in. The time to buy. It's like <laughs> everything's down. So I'd, I'd wait for it all to go to shit, and then I'd start buying crypto, and then nothing, nothing would come from it, and. Damn, I kept that one to myself quite a bit because, like, no one wants to hear about your fucking crypto investments. If someone's, I if I'm listening to this them. podcast and someone's like talking crypto, I'm fucking not listening. So, we'll becoming no. those people, <laughs> Mike, you know, I'm fucking change the subject, Shane. <laughs> like, yeah, let's go. People would come in and they'd start talking about crypto and they go, What's well, a bear market? And I'm like, You don't know what a fucking bear market is, motherfucker. You do not know. Like, 
I, I don't know you well. Anything, man. Like, keep the money in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the dumbest motherfucker ever. Like, yeah, exactly. Me too. Like, like, yeah. So I'm not... Yeah. But yeah, cryptocurrency. Yeah, I, they've got a... The, you go into 7-Eleven, I think they've got the bit, Bitcoin ATMs or something like I don't even yeah. know what that means. Yeah, well, honest. I don't even know how to... Well, I also had a, uh, a guy I was buying weed off. And every time he'd drop off, like, his beard would be growing longer. He'd be less and less shout. And his car would be more dented. But he was like, dude, fucking get into fucking crypto. <laughs> like, I'm making so much money off. I'm like, you look like you're going through some fucking shit, dude. And he's like, I got this NFT the other day. It was just a picture of a fucking frog. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, trust me, man. Trust yeah. me. It's like, I'm not going to give this advice away free much longer. <laughs> I, I wonder um, how much the NFTs are worth now because that went bu- gangbusters last year. I, yeah, didn't, I still them. don't understand that. But yeah, I'm like, with you. I still yeah, don't know NFTs are worth I think you just yeah. buy a picture. But you buy a picture and then what do you And then you own it. And then you own it and yeah. you make heaps of money or something. Yeah. I don't exactly. know. <laughs> yeah. Just, I don't, the I don't, yeah. The bit between, between the I yeah, own yeah, it yeah. and making yeah. heaps of money. That's the bit I don't understand. Yeah. I don't get everything in between. We've got That's something thing. similar and it's a, uh, a cassette tape of us playing live, but it's us doing the worst cover of the Sepultura song um, with... <laughs> With our friend Ben singing it uh, from Geelong, and isn't that a, it is, that's a real NFT, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, so if you want this one tape, and we'll plate it with gold and put it in a nice briefcase and sell it for like a million, million bucks. bucks. But yeah. what is actually on that tape is worth much the, more. The worst, <laughs> the worst <laughs> representa- representation of this band that the you could ever up. imagine. But uh, yeah, if I Dom, buy it. Dom Solo is. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's that good. Is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was that good. Man. It was that good. Yeah, man. yeah. It's like, you know, we, well, we need to put this in our, uh, like security van to get, be delivered and yeah, yeah. Just, that's why when oh we fly, God. we never we always have to fly separate. So like one of us is like Wu-Tang holding. Wu Tang did that, yeah. that. Did that album where it's like a million dollars? And Wu Tang, they they did like an album oh, where it's like a million yeah, bucks. We'll know this. And um, that like farmer bro like, dude, he bought it. He bought it. Bought it. And uh, it, it turned into a whole thing. So oh um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And he, then he went to he jail. Go, went to jail or some right. shit. Got sued to the shit out. Is he still yeah. in jail? Shkreli? One of Shkreli? Is that his name? I think, I think he's I think out. He is. I think he's out. Oh, oh, yeah, I could be completely. I don't know. Yeah. I don't even fucking care. But <laughs> the Wu Tang album, like we're you know we're concepting, conceptualizing a similar thing. But what is actually on this album is the most Terrible unlistenable. Thing ever. That's God. great. Though. That's what it should be. So if you're gonna spend it's like a, a million, off. if you're gonna invest a million bucks in Ishwal, damn, Go for it. don't fucking do it. <laughs> don't fucking do it. <laughs> but buy our shirts and t-shirts. Yeah, buy yeah. Sh- it could be worth something though. You never know. Yeah, you never know, man. You know, like fucking who who would have thought like that? Most records are worth fucking a bonds and out. Like, yeah. you know. But also, your merch is very good. It's amazing. Shout yeah, out to Dave. Thank you. Yeah, Dave. Leanne was going to wear a jumper I even, tonight. Because I didn't expect she's to got be... Her jump, she bought a jumper with her and she didn't think she was going to be on the podcast. Yeah, you're going to yeah. wear it? So she had to get and I, Well, I had it before. I'm like, I can't wear this on the podcast. Yeah. Well, you should be wearing them. it to give us a You should be advertising. Advertise. I should be, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it says you got your own on. I'm advertising my... <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, well, I, I got guess we're going to Hey, I'm wearing my own um, issue pin. pin over there. Yeah. So, you know, shout out to... Uh, yeah, actually, well, we did this can I, one. let's just ask issuer meaning. Should Mike, you'll hand it out over to you. Um, I feel like I'm gonna gaff this one, but uh, Ishwa is a an ancient stone. I it's believe. a stone in yeah. somewhere in like Iceland or something. Oh, you Greenland know? or Iceland? Yeah, Greenland, Iceland. Um, and it's uh, it's it's billions of years old, and, and it radiates good energy. And if you yeah, if you're into like yeah, crystals right. and mm. oh, all yeah. that you kind are. of stuff, I love yeah, crystals. So yeah. basically, oh, yeah, I love them. <laughs> basically, the Ishwa stone is uh, to harmonize like chaos and peace. Yeah, oh, no all shit. in one. Mm. Yeah. I like that. That's great There's symbolism. Deep, yeah, deep, <laughs> rich sort of. Uh, I'm you know, sorry, Dom. Content, <laughs> yeah. Con- that, content that, in there. That's yeah. what it means. Like, yeah, so yeah. That's it. Ma- it's apt. It makes sense for the band. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, right. Deep, heavy, old, long lasting. Yeah, because you know? we're old, we're chaotic, we're peaceful. Um, yeah. You know. Mm. Yeah, well, that makes sense. So that's what Ishura is, right? Fuck. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like a. Is, it, is, is that actual physical stone then? 
Or is it a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe so. It's either a physical stone or it's a region where the stone is. Right. Uh, you know? okay. I, go I think it's actually the issue of uh, green stone belt or maybe something along those lines. Wait, wait. Mikey, let's Google this right yeah, now. Let's Google that right it. Now. Let's fact check. Another trick as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Is, is it like the Blani stone? Could I also grab one? Ishwistone. I'm pretty sure it's the Ishwistone. <laughs> yeah. You guys can edit this out as well, though, so we don't look bad. It's from Greenland. No, absolutely not going to do that. Greenland. Yeah, it's from yeah. Greenland. Yeah, it's yeah. from it's from Greenland, and according to the Crystal Castle, uh, the Crystal Council uh, it means chaos, harmony, peace, mayhem, love, destruction, and life. Mm. All in one singular crystal. Multifaceted. There you go. So it actually is perfect for the actual band name. I yeah. Think so. I think yeah. so as well. I believe so. Thank yeah. You, man. Yeah. I think that kind of hits every yeah. mark. Yeah. And like, what? you know, we might be we might be goofing around, but we take this shit so serious. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't fucking believe. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I get that. That's yeah. like a fucking, you know, like, I think that it's a perfect representation. Because oh, it's all, like it's such a like a name out of nowhere. Yeah, you know. So if you don't know, but now we know. Now we know. Now you know. Yeah. So we can. You gotta pick that microphone up. <laughs> Not really. I'm just sitting here, politely listening. All right. I don't have much to add, but. Okay, you just chip in when you want to. Just chime in. Chime in. But um, yeah, the ish was stone. There you go. Like crazy. We're all a bunch of ish with stones. I think we passed the test on that though, because I think we got that pretty. I pretty think right. yeah, he's got it. With yeah, he's got yeah. it before you Google it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not I like didn't me. expect you to ask me. But yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, because I, I like you know, I was thought, oh, should I look that up? Because it's been in my mind. I'm like, oh, is it like, what does it come from? Mm. Uh, usually, it's like. Oh, oh, so how do we uh, pronounce your uh, band name? I don't know how people sure. get it wrong. <laughs> I don't Welcome understand. Welcome to the Music Victorian Music Awards, where we're going to pronounce the band name wrong. I saw. Isua. We get I just that. Don't understand though. Yeah. How you would read that and get it wrong. All right. How how does it go, Leanne? Go. <laughs> <laughs> you would have gone that wrong though, wouldn't you? But well, then again, I'm, I'm notorious for mispronouncing band names. You. Yeah. Even when I've told you the correct I, yeah. names. Still do it wrong. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so uh, that's why I got some notes here. To, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I should do, but I don't. Yeah. Um. So the record release was at Social Club. Uh, it was at the Evelyn Hotel. Evelyn. Yeah, yeah that's right. How was that? that was yeah, fun. that was awesome. Yeah, there was um. I don't know, I think Mikey and Dharma did a really good job like curating a bunch of lineup like Pro Cop played and that was the fucking coolest band I've seen in ages. So shout out Pro Cop. Um, yeah, it's so hard to describe. Like the set started off with like some cello, electronic, and then it went into this really dark sort of road burn territory with, you know, I don't know, it was just fucking intense. So I'm not going to be able to describe it right, but Pro Cop, check them out. That was like... Yeah, right. That was fucking phenomenal. Aglo played as well. Um, Go Shaman. Go Shaman played as yeah. well. But yeah, it went really well. Where were you two, though? That's the big question. I was here. <laughs> I was here that as well. Because yeah. I got involved. Someone said, I'll come pick you up. We'll yeah. go to the show. Yeah. And I was yeah. managing that night. Yeah. Well, yeah. well you That's guys are girl. always on the, the guest list. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. You guys are always on the guest list. So, yeah. Well, kind of sucks, though, doesn't it? Because every time there's a really good show that I want to go to, it's my shift. Yeah, yeah the good we, shows we coming here for split. Wayne and fucking King B. Yeah, well, that's it. So we're, we're, that. Yeah, that, that's going to be a big day because we're working the afternoon. Yeah. And yeah. then we're partying the night. Yeah. So it, it, it's such a gangbusters lineup. Mm. It's a huge lineup. Massive, which is like from the time this comes out, it's like, so it, it's like only seven days away. Yeah. yeah. Or six days away. Yeah. So it's the Saturday night. Yeah. yeah. And, and then we did Adelaide and Sydney. Like Adelaide. It's always going to be Adelaide, so it's the trickiest city to conquer. Is that for you guys as well? Um, I think it's like an experience for everyone, mm. uh, even even at a banded now like level, I guess. Um, if there is one other show in town that night, it just kills you it. You lose half your crowd. Yeah, and even with our um, album launch, it's like Melbourne ain't what it was post COVID. It's back to you know 2019 yeah. Melbourne, where it's like if Not there's shows, if yeah. there is like more shows on the same night that clash like yeah it's a struggle consider another yeah. night to put your uh, yeah in. like yeah yeah it, it, and especially like internationals are back in a big way yeah and you know they really do suck up a lot of that audience where it's like you know they're playing to a thousand cat 
twelve hundred yeah. cap, and then you you're like sitting there and like you got two hundred cap. Yeah, well, we had to change the date of our uh, original album launch because we messaged Geld and we're like, hey, do you guys want to open our album launch? Like, oh, it's actually our album launch this night with this lineup. And we're like, yeah, actually, let's Let them let's just change the date yeah. of the show because that is a big chunk of our crowd too. Yeah. And yeah. we don't want to like, you got to respect each other in the same yeah. way yeah. where it's just like we either curate a lineup that won't cater to that crowd or we change the night of the show. Yeah. And it's easier to change or not. Yeah. And a good thing we've got some good relationships with uh the venues around this place. Yeah. From, <laughs> yeah. from over the well, years. Man. You know, like <laughs> it, Thank you, you too. Well. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense though, because you know, like when you look at it, like you'd love to go like there's what? Some nights there's like four or five shows you want to go to. Yeah. yeah. You know? Which is such a not awful every, problem yeah. to have. Not too, too many shows. Not everyone can be poodle. Yeah. You know? So yeah. you know, oh, he, yeah. he he can do four or five shows in a night, but he really plans out his schedule. He plans shows, out his so. schedule. There I've should be an calendar. option on sports bet where you can gamble on what show poodle will rock up to. Yeah, but I re- I'm yeah. I think so. You've got as a well. theory, though. I've yeah. got a theory. What's a theory? What's a theory? So my theory is that there's more than one poodle. Oh, I was just about to say. There that. has there's to be, poodles. though, doesn't it? Because it's yeah. impossible. Maybe every city has a poodle, right? I think so. Do they? I think. How I'm, How would you explain poodle to a listener not from Melbourne? That go on. He is. Oh, he's fucking gig pig. That's what. <laughs> <it> a <is. laughs> gig pig. <laughs> <laughs> In the, best way, in the best way possible. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the most. Yeah. I think that it could be the, the gig pig. I love yeah, that. Yeah, gig pig. Yeah. yeah, but he's just every. He's just like, but that's what everyone should be. Yeah. Like if he could go to music, watch bands, twelve hours a day, seven days a week, mm. he'd do it. It's yeah. like you know you're like one of the best gigs in town. Yeah. If you're the same gig as Poodle. Yeah. I remember when like, Poodle first rocked up to our gig and we were high five. We were like, "Dude, we finally made it, man!" Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> that was a bucket yeah. list item for we're us. We're an A-list like, so now. Poodle's dude. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got the Poodle stamp of approval. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, like if if he had told us our band sucked, we would have broken up. Straight that away. Ain't it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Poodle yeah. was like, "That sucked, dude." Totally <laughs> yeah. We would, I would. I would quit playing music forever. Yeah, but uh, you know that's the thing. Like, there's a, there's a lot of other poodles around. Like, you know what I mean. There's a poodle in every city. Yeah, there has to be. Yeah, but I mean, even in Melbourne, there's like people that are like poodle, but you probably just don't notice them as much. Because, Future poodles. Yeah, it drives on as long or something. Well, well, poodle's got that charisma about him. It's like mm. he's a, he's a real personality. He's mm. a, like yeah. obviously he's a real person as well, but he's yeah. like a he's like a real character. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and he's instantly noticeable yeah so but he's just there and he's everywhere so you know there are there are about and i think that's the fucking that's the great thing about being in bands yeah the last time i saw poodle um i think i was here and i was like standing watching a band and holding a pint and then i looked down i realized that his dreadlock was like in my beer (laughs) so i just fucking like i just forfeited that drink (laughs) really yeah yeah, yeah. oh hell no man like who fucking knows what? It could be magical though. Yeah. yeah. Or, Were you guys here? I for stopped Shannon? taking psychedelics. Yeah. Uh, did, did, you see the Shannon, did you hear Shannon, Shannon from and Thatcher's and um, episode and Reaper? Nah. Shannon made a um a, a, a bet a statement, a statement one early one morning that, that was recorded. If he if we made the target to buy the tote mm. that he'd suck on. Poodle's dread. Deep throat. Oh. Deep throat. Deep throat. Deep throat. <laughs> Not just suck on it. Dread. Deep throat. And fucking, yeah, he, he, he wrote it down. They recorded it. It was, it was very deep official. Deep throat, what, well, one dread or the like dread. a bunch like, of like dreads? Like, dread. how, he, how, he how did big it. of dreads are we talking? It was a... It was decent. Like, and we like, were there's here, video but we got sent the video. Okay, got, yeah. okay. On like a Monday morning when yeah, we were just right. woken up. And okay, no. so not one not one single dread, but like a, a, a bunch of dreads. Yeah, one yeah. of the, yeah, okay. one of the It was the a lot. Ones. Okay. His dreads are like... It went so down we... his mouth by about... Si- throat, I don't mean, by six inches. And he vomited everywhere. Yeah, oh, that makes me stage. fucking sick. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, like, you could almost like jerk off one of his dreads and it would ejaculate. Some shit, right? Dude, I don't it's, know. It's its yeah, own ecosystem. Yeah, it's got a life yeah. of its own. Like. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've always, like, yeah, like, seeing pictures of him sans dreads. 
Really? I've seen, seen a photo of him before dreads. Before really? dreads. Like, he's got like, like the white fro. Like a big yeah. fro. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, he's a say kill the boy, so you know, go figure. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, he, he, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, like the, he's just, yeah, he's just one of those people. And he, yeah, character. Love him. Are but, you guys going to have him on the show? Oh, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll you should. Say, uh, <laughs> the final boss. Yeah, the final what you're saying is going to be the final boss? Yeah, the final boss. The final okay. boss. Talks. Yeah, right talk, yeah. Talking to his management. We're in yeah. negotiations. <laughs> but you have to Photoshop him so he's like that much bigger than you guys. You guys look minuscule, don't yeah. you? Yeah. And his well, voice think, is like way deeper. I think if we're going to have to do it, we'd literally have to do it at the bar. Yeah, 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 and I think it'd be like I'd need like three days off afterwards. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna yeah, drink. because it's like he's gonna sit there and drink Jack and Fireball. Yeah, yeah. and like you can't let you never let a poodle drink by themselves. Yeah, that's it. You know, so how does he get home? Like you guys probably witnessed this. I don't. Jumps in an Uber. Jumps in an Uber. Usually. Sometimes yeah. catches a bus. Yeah. yeah Sometimes he just stays out and goes to another kick. <laughs> Do we know where he lives? Oh, like uh, I don't know. I think you know. I think in, in the Dubai, in or? the cosmos. Yeah, right. Cosmos. Yeah, he's just kind of like right. somewhere in that. Yeah, somewhere. Cosmos, yeah. yeah, but yeah, yeah no, he, get, he gets a, he gets about a fair bit. Mm. So you know, he's just. Yeah, we love you, poodle. We love you, poodle. Yeah, we do. Yeah, and, and yeah, we, we are going to have him on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> you it's going to be a. Uh, I don't. We don't. We won't have to talk. We'll just let him go and drink Jack and. Uh, shots fireball. And yeah, he knows yeah. every single detail about every single band. Yeah. Like, there's nothing he doesn't know about every single band that's ever played in Melbourne. Right. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit, a bit much. But I, I couldn't keep all that in my head. I can't keep anything in my head. Yeah, I got nothing. Like I said, just just I literally got nothing. <laughs> 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 the, the bear with the uh, uh, like hat riding a little <laughs> car around in circle. That was very descriptive to me. Too descriptive. Too descriptive. Spitting that out. Yeah, because it went through my head and it flashed. <laughs> I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, like someone shit. keeps putting uh, like baby 12 hours of baby animals on YouTube, on the TVs. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> The Bears, man. Which I thought when they said that the other day, it was the band. 12 Hours of Baby Animals. And I was like, do they have 12 Hours of Baby Animals? I forgot they were a band. I forgot that the staff member that said it is a lot younger than me and looked at me like, "What? who's Baby Animals? Do you know who? I was here the other night, like hammered at like four in the morning. I was like, you should chuck some porn on the TV and you fucking like. You roasted me. You're like, absolutely not. I was like, like, <laughs> 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 we I was like wait, that why that? Leanne yeah. chuck that on? That would have been fucking awesome. Someone's going to be the dude. responsible one here. And unfortunately, We're all it's me. Yeah. Horrible. Um, I went to a bar in Chicago once and it was just like a porn and fried chicken bar. And it was just... Porn and fried chicken? Yeah, it was like a restaurant that just sold fried chicken. But like, it was just TVs everywhere playing like softcore pornography. What was the fried chicken like? <laughs> it was pretty good. Did they have chippies as well? Soggy. Is it, yeah, well, get, get straight to the issue like, of handling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, just fried chicken. I got yeah. some tenders, some Ooh, fries. Some tenders. And yeah, it was, it was a alcohol? good experience. Or was it just like? Just milk. It was just milk to go with fried chicken. Fried chicken, beer. Like what more? What more could you want? I mean, I don't really care. Oh. But I don't know if I'd want to be in a bar <laughs> in a public like the novelty with everyone of else, other patrons. Yeah. It's a really interesting kind of concept, out. though, isn't it? Like, what food would you pair pair in a re- have in a restaurant that just serves that has porn everywhere? I could guarantee you that this bar does not exist anymore. No, they, not I don't really. think that concept <laughs> would like. <laughs> no, it, it, that wouldn't fly. I don't know. For me, it would be like food that I'd eat with a knife and fork, so my hands wouldn't get greasy for like later. You know, yeah. with all the good entertainment on. You know what I mean? That, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. You don't want that greasy fried chicken juice on your hands when you're. You, you know, also don't want to touch anything, anything in that bar. Yeah. No. Exactly. That's but, yeah. it. But Dom knew it more than anyone that you know. I love my fried chicken, man. Mikey loves his fried chicken. Whenever we're on tour, Mikey's the king of chicken. Do you? So, yeah. do you, do you uh, it's like me and rotisserie chicken. I love rotisserie chicken. No, Mikey, yeah, Mikey loves like, just KFC and he loves like chicken nuggets. That's yeah, his thing. Yeah, so I'd see the fried chicken here, the yeah. last chance fried chicken, and you won't give me the fucking, the spice nah, recipe. It's a secret. Yeah. It's probably it is a, it now? It's it a is. secret. Hey, yo. I mean, the, the, the fried chicken here is possibly the best fried chicken you can get in Melbourne that nobody it's fucking knows about. Yeah. It's up there. I'm not just pretty saying good. this because I mean, I'm on the pod. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, I actually like, thought of you today when we were going past KFC. 
Because we thought the one in Footscray was getting Ooh. closed. Oh, shit. Yeah, I used to and live. We like, yeah. yeah. You lived around the corner. Yeah. So I remember seeing you when we were there a few times. And we had the battle with them through lockdown every Friday night. Because yeah. we'd pull up to get the vegan food from Vincent's. Well, I wanted to cut a hole through the back fence. So wow. I could get there quicker. Because it, um, it was about like 150 meters from my house. Me. And um, every time I like left the window open i can just smell smell it i can just smell it jesus and it just like poisoned yeah. my brain to yeah. the point like, where now he only eats yeah. chicken on tour all i could think about was the colonel <laughs> it's like when we lived next door to hungry jacks oh yeah that was, oh the oh, marathon oh, food factory and we used to live across, down like you know where they make the dim sims at marathon oh yeah and fucking hell like i'd wake up and i'd be like, be like dim, mm, sim. dim sim yeah. dim sim day and then i'd be like oh they're making the spring rolls you could tell the different like, days you could tell which days they were cooking what the oh, other fantastic. the other fried chicken that i can rate i've eaten a lot of fried chicken on these tours but there's one place in newcastle uh i think it's about 200 meters 300 meters away from the hammer station hotel which is probably where you'd usually play in newcastle yeah. just a little hole in the wall fried chicken place oh shit yeah man pretty good Pretty good. Which one was this one? What um, was it called? That was when you guys went to some fancy restaurant and I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hang yeah, on, yeah. is that a fried chicken yeah. place? Yeah, you yeah, went yeah, and yeah. you knife yeah. and fork. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, Mikey, we've been eating fucking fried chicken for <laughs> the last six chicken. days on tour. Fuck you, man. So you want to go eat fried chicken by himself or something. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, when it comes down to it, though, so like in, in your chain of fried chicken, which there's not that many now, what do you reckon of the Red Rooster fried chicken? Hey, I, I'm, I backed the Red Rooster. I'm a fan. You're, you're I'm a fan, fan of Red Rooster. Yeah. Not me. I, I I'm like, a big I like fan. Their, I like their chicken, but not their fried chicken. I didn't get around to Red Rooster until I had to like spend time at airports. Oh. And like, uh, Red Rooster generally didn't have a line. Yeah. So you could usually get your shit quicker. Yeah. Because it's shit, so no one likes to go eat. No, it's great. It's, it's good. And they got, better, they got better yeah, chippies than KFC. Chips, <laughs> yeah. They have Ripper Roll. Oh, the old Ripper Roll. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Twister Wrap. Yeah, right. I like it. That's, that's an underrated one. It doesn't come in like a box meal, unfortunately. Yeah. But it's good yeah. for like a on the go snack. Yeah. Because you don't need to sit do, down do you, and eat it. Do you smash the shit out of the Korean fried chicken joints? Um, only recently, actually. Like, good. Uh, like Korean food, since uh, being in this band, that's we we, we always hit up the uh, Goon Barbecue. Oh yeah. Please endorse yeah, us. Goon oh. on uh, <laughs> Smith Street. Yeah. Goon yeah. Barbecue, baby. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Pretty yeah. good. Oh, yeah, man. it's just this awesome, uh, yeah, Korean barbecue joint. You grill your own meat, and they're always just playing, like, cheesy Michael Bublé songs and stuff. Oh, I love that. You know, so that's you get to it's nothing, yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Michael yeah. Bublé and Korean meat. Yeah. You know, match your made in heaven, baby. We, we, celebrated, soju. we celebrated our uh, album launch the night after and went to Goon Barbecue, and I think we went went through about, like, eight or nine bowls of soju. <laughs> And oh. like blacked out, like this footage of me like riding a pink razor scooter down Johnson Street. <laughs> he and, stole like, someone's <laughs> razor scooter down the street, trying to do like a tail whip down the curb and shit. Um, and yeah, I don't remember what happened that night, but fuck, it happened. It happened, yeah. man. Yeah, good yeah. barbecue. We'll, we'll blame the, don't blame the show, dude. Blame the barbecue. Yeah, you, yeah. Should, you should sell so do here, man. man. You should. Well, you should. Oh, Jesus, sorry. I got the. R- reflux. Um, I like shoju cocktail. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, man. We actually call it koju socktails in our band, though. <laughs> koju socktails. Koju socktails, baby. Yeah. So I could get around them. Yeah, you just make one. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, a hundred percent. Like come Hopefully summer, should. spring summer, there might be a, a a menu with shoju on it. Yeah. I won't say where that menu will be. But I've known people that would like pour a shot of soju into their like glass of beer. Yeah, that'd be tasty. Yeah, it's very nice yeah. when you have like in a, a vodka soda as well. It's like how can like I make that this, in? How it's can lovely. I make this brew is more alcoholic. Yeah, how can I make <laughs> it? I love that. This brew is more <laughs> brewers. Yeah, <laughs> it's the, the eternal question. Yeah. Oh, um. Man. Yeah. Well, because we've got all the Korean barbecues like next door. Like, I think yeah. Like, yeah. This is a real good one. Do you guys one. have a regular spot or anything? Do you or? know what? We don't because we're so close to it. And every, but the, the problem we... is when you really feel like it, it's like a Friday and Saturday night. Yeah. Because you can just <laughs> smell it because all the extraction yeah, yeah. fans. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, fuck, I'm at work. Like, I can't yeah, go true. Eat it. By the time you reek, so our days off are like Monday. Well, I haven't had dinner yet. So, yeah. you know, Well, Korean no, because they're closed. Ma- they're all closed Mondays. Dude, I saw heaps walking up the street, man. No, but we're, <laughs> we're that way. <laughs> My voice cracked. It's got yeah. really excited, but yeah. Yeah, but it, like within like just in this block, yeah. these couple of blocks, there's, there's like six or seven of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But I what just What are we doing with it. our lives? I'm not March. Like, why aren't we experiencing this all the time? Yeah. yeah. Just raising $3 yeah. million dollars and not saying anything. Dude, about it. Molly, you guys have done a great job raising your $3 million, man. We did, man. Yeah. yeah, you did. Are we you guys just going to disappear? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 We raised another $4 million the other way. Well, we raise that's that. all so, like, I would we need. Didn't <laughs> I feel like three million dollars is all I would need, and I'd, I'd be able to just live the rest of my life yeah. comfortably. Yeah. I think, maybe. I reckon your tastes though would get more expensive at the start because you'd be like, "Yeah, I got money to burn. I got money to burn. I can buy whatever yeah. I want." And then all of a sudden, like it's gone down a lot yeah. dramatically. Yeah. And you're like, "Oh fuck! I've still got the rest of my life to live on a hundred grand." Yeah. How's mm-hmm. that going to pay for my nursing home? Yeah, but is that when you start getting into like fucked up shit because you got so much money? And, like nothing pleasures you anymore. So like I guess like that movie Hostel, you're oh. just like, yeah, I'm gonna pay some dude like fucking heaps of money just to chainsaw someone in a fucking chair. I don't think you well, can do I that with three million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe three million, three million baht in yeah. Thailand or something. I think you yeah. need more for yeah. that sort of stuff. I think you need more to get more fucked up. Yeah. I don't know. Plus my brain hadn't thought of that sort of stuff. Oh, mine does. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. How about, yeah, we're trying to work out that, you know, Apple are worth something like three trillion dollars or something. Trillion. Trillion, trillion yeah. Don't which is, that means. yeah, well, that's, we had to figure it out the other night. And I think it's, th- it's infinity. 3,000 billion. Yeah. yeah Maybe? I, th- I think it's, I think it's three million million. I could be wrong. I'm not good at yeah. that. What if, yeah, what yeah. if like us for? After this pod's done, just go to the casino right now. Let it roll. And this is the last. Oh, this black. is the last you hear of. Yeah. The last chance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 we just, <laughs> podcast goes up. Yeah, Where the fuck yeah, are yeah. these cups? We should do it. Just the, all the money. Wayne's birthday ro- rocks around. And the pub is closed. It's closed. Yeah. All the bands, yeah. except for Ishua, are not, uh, you know, yeah. standing We'll, out we'll the still front. play our show on the 15th. Yeah. With derailment, double river, creep diets. Chuff. Festering general orifice and chuff. But anyways, we'll go to the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but where would you? Where would you? Where, I don't know. If I had like three, say I was just like here, three billion dollars. I don't know what I'd do with my life. I'd do the same shit. I'm fucking. You're very stuck in your. Yeah, world, I'm aren't like. You? you don't like change. I don't like change. You don't want anything different in your life. Nah. You don't want to experience new nah. things. Just want to and go watch fine. bands and. Yeah, well, yeah. I think I'd be the same. Yeah, I'd still I, live I in a share not. house. Yeah, fuck that yeah, shit. Yeah. Fuck the share house. He's starting to get all I'm the good out. stuff. I'm yeah. going to get a whole new face. I'm going to get heaps of work done. I'm going to be living on my own island. Selected people are invited. Even me? You're invited. Hell yeah. I don't know about Tom. You're invited, hey, Shane. Thank you. Dad, look, I don't I'll tell you what. You. I'm not going. <laughs> no, nah, he'd be too set in his ways to go. <laughs> How even if he like wanted his other nope. three million, dude. Just me and my um netball. Wilson <laughs> <laughs> on the island. She wonder why. Actually, funny you say that. She wanted to watch Castaway last night. I love Castaway. Yeah. I find it a calming. I feel show. like that'd be a great rewatch. It's fantastic yeah. to rewatch. Yeah. It's calming because we've got this thing. Shane likes. I've got rules. You can't go to bed and watch like UFC montages or like loud fighting movies. It has to be like calming. Yeah, every night, I say, you want to watch? Yeah. <laughs> and they've got all this techno music playing in them. Yeah. I'm like what? How can I fall asleep listening to and techno like, music and you see montages? Dude, I've my dad was a to uh, like Law and Order SVU. Oh right? yeah, yeah that's just, a good one. That gives you some fucked up dreams though. Yeah, yeah. it's just like. But see, I, I'm like, yeah, I don't sleep, so I'm a really bad sleeper. I only <sighs> sleep a couple of hours a night. It's the worst. Yeah. So, but like, every night, like, like if Law and Order, I'd sleep a lot. But yeah, that fucked me up. Yeah. <laughs> we watched all the fucking Stabler. Speedweed and Dick Wolf. Yeah, what, which, it again. yeah which is your <laughs> what, what 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 Law and Order do you like? Uh, I've been on the SVU. Yeah, yeah that's so, a good one. You know, the newer yeah. ones or the older ones? Uh, I've been watching the newer ones. Ah. Yeah. Actually, I was watching the ones with uh, they filmed in the pandemic, so it was just like, how do they uh, proceed with these court battles through COVID? Is it, was that the they, they they wrote it into the show? Was that the, was that they yeah, wrote yeah, it? Yeah, they're all wearing masks. Yeah, because I stuff. imagine they, they 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 <laughs> they have a, like they produce at least one a week, wouldn't they? Yeah, they'd be pumping. Yeah, them out. so they'd be pumping them out. And the newer ones, oh. Detective Benson isn't Detective Benson. She's well, Captain Benson now. I think Ice T is still in it. 
Yeah, it has to be. Like, he's, he's the main draw. Did an old mate die, though? The Yeah, Munch. Munch. The he was my favourite. He... I've just been getting into it, so, you know, yeah, don't, I, don't wreck it for you're, me. You're, you, you, you're late to the SVU party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Leanne was obsessed with it for a while. I just find that also very calming. I like calming shows. Don't want any, like, noise, scary sounds. I just want to watch Saving Private Ryan every night. Yeah, just, just that, when they rock up and Norman being that's, nothing. That's it. it. Yeah, that's yeah it's just, just that chaos. Yeah. Like, uh, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like exactly what you want off and, when yeah, you're trying yeah. to, like, you're just getting to sleepy town and you're just getting calm and then bam. Not me. Yeah. So, like, have you seen Cruising with Al Pacino? No. Oh, man, that's, that's that. great. It was like, I think it was, like, made by the same dude that made The Exorcist in the 80s. And it's about um, these people getting murdered. In um, I think it's like New York or something. So this like undercover cop uh, goes undercover in like the gay cruising scene in the eighties and like tries to like investigate a bunch of murders and stuff. And um, I think for for the time it wasn't it didn't land as well as it did. But it's a great movie and like Al Pacino's like written it off his um really his, yeah like he he isn't proud of that movie at all. But it's fucking. Amazing, really. Cop, thriller, drama, cruising. Yeah, right. Yeah, there you go. Well, we, we were discussing this last night. The movies we won't do, and like romance. Oh, we uh, don't watch the romance topic. Yeah, or no. drama usually. Drama and ro- oh, rom. Oh, we watch rom com sometimes. Do we? Love Actually is pretty fucking good though, right? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Shay Come loves on. that Give movie. Me that. Yeah. Love Actually yeah, fucking love rules, man. <laughs> do do I? Yeah. No, it's off That's my a Christmas, Christmas one. No, it's yeah, Christmas I won't watch and it. it's romance. Shane's yeah. got a Christmas list of movies. Does he? What's your Christmas list? Oh, oh you, I could go it's for a hours. Schedule. Top three. It's list. a schedule. And we have to start oh. them at the start, like in November every year. So He's you got a land schedule. it on the twenty yeah. fourth of December so or the twenty fifth. So it's like Home Alone. That's well, my that can't be the first Christmas, yeah, well, Christmas look, movie. The greatest one is National Lampoon's yeah. mm. Christmas Vacation, yes. without a doubt. Like very hard to beat, and then Home Alone. But if Home Alone was real life, like one of those guys would have had a gun and they just would have shot his ass. <laughs> yeah, well, they didn't have a gun. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and yeah, like just the it was Chicago too. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking yeah, bullet straight through the head. You think it would, but that hey, Michael Jordan, house. that Michael Jordan cutout would have deterred that gunshot, though, man. <laughs> yeah. Was it Michael Jordan and Dennis Rodman? It was a Ma- Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, the the fact hand be, on the hip. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, hold the basketball. Michael Jordan yeah. No one's pulling out a That's gun right, on that, no. man. Yeah. No, yeah, you'd The love. fact that Joe Pesci and that other motherfucker didn't have a gun. Kramer. There's a fucking blonder on their part, man. Like, yeah, I mean, what kind of... <laughs> but I suppose... The wet bandits. The wet bandits, but would you... Yeah, well, at least not even a water gun. They're not very... It was America, too, man. Yeah. I just think the biggest blunder is the fucking irresponsible parents just forgetting one child at home. Yeah. That's the biggest yeah. blunder, dude. What's up yeah. with that? You know? And, and how, how good did the police go? Oh, the police were like, terrible. Oh, my like, kids mom, at home. Oh, we rang. They called them. Yeah, yeah. So like, it was the pigeon lady is the hero of Home Alone, though. Oh, and Home Alone Home Alone 2. Yeah. Oh, is that Home Alone 2? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the pigeon lady. Yeah. yeah. I love, was like, love the fact that they're editing Donald Trump out of it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Homeland too. Macaulay Culkin, because he's just fucking cooked it. Uh, he's got all the money he needs. Yeah. So he doesn't need to make movies or do anything anymore. But he's like put up a thing on YouTube where it was like him playing the character of Home Alone, but he's like grown up and he's yeah. an Uber driver and he's like extremely traumatized from the events of Home Alone and he like kidnaps somebody and like fucking tortures him. Really? <laughs> it's just We've like, seen that. He, really, yeah. he really fucking like shits on the legacy of like. Home Alone, Excellent. the greatest Christmas movie on earth. Second greatest. <laughs> and then, yeah, second greatest. Can't beat Chevy Chase, come on. Yeah, Chevy, Chevy Chase is all right, but Macaulay Culkin, man. Yeah. And he's back. Who's he's, that? He? Macaulay Culkin. Is he? What's he doing? Well, he did that little role in Righteous Gemstones. Did he? He was Uncle Baby Billy's son. Oh, he fucking was. Too. His brother was in the um that black metal movie, uh, Lords of Chaos. Lords of Chaos, yeah, he was and great in that too. Yeah, yeah, that was like my favorite, like going to the movies experience because they had it at Nova, and it was just full of like black metal fans <laughs> walking off to the movies <laughs> with corpse paint. Yeah, and uh, I knew it was gonna be a shit movie. I didn't, I didn't expect anything of it, but like walking out and just the disappointment 
on all these on fucking, everyone's fucking. Yeah, they're like, like, how could you tell? This is a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is such a fucking shame and fucking blackmail. What did they it's expect? Like, yeah, man. I thought it was funny, man. Like, Lords of Chaos is a great flick, man. Yeah. It uh, it really portrays, like, metalheads as they are. Just, like, stupid fucking idiots. <laughs> like we are, man. Nerds. <laughs> like, fucking nerds, man. Yeah. yeah. It was all of us. We're just nerds in our own way. Yeah. If we were in Norway in the 80s, fuck. Yeah. Fuck, we would fucking... Oh, we're gonna see that. Gonna that that is the official wind up. Oh, oh. I didn't even oh, we, get sh- to... we should go through your list. Lists. Well, I didn't you even get notes. to talk about my cult story. That's oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. that's see? the main that's event. Can of still the talk night. about your cult. No, yeah. that's no that's, I'll save that for another nah, day. Nah, do you? No, 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 Let's go. Join in the cult. Well, I didn't join the cult. Can I preface this by saying Leanne's family has a history of joining cults? Okay. Like a proper history. Well, not we. A certain member of her family has joined, okay. like at least, which I think is fantastic. That we know of. Although it's a little bit, it's just not to stir. It's fine. Everyone's on their own journey, and that's okay. Yeah, but you were joining a cult, yet? No, I didn't. A blue okay. oyster cult. So <laughs> <laughs> so I've been hearing oh, and reading. Really I've been reading about these cults that are targeting people in Melbourne Central for like years now. Mm. And finally, I had my turn the other week because Shane and me were walking through Melbourne Central and Shane had walked off because he always just leaves me. And I was like walking behind him, tired, a bit traumatised after shopping for a computer bag that I didn't want that he was making me buy. That's not what happened. It's what happened. And this lovely lady came up to me and she said, ma'am, have you heard about the Heavenly Mother? And I was like, no, but tell me more, which was my first like mistake. Anyway, turns out she's part of this cult that's going around. What kind of cult? I don't know, like a sex cult? Leo. Leo. Shane, Leo. I, I, I went Shane. up to Shane and I said, oh, my God, Shane, did you just see what, like, this is the best day of my life. They want young girls. They only want young girls and they're asking me, I'm an old lady. And Shane's like, they want you because you're old. You'll be the, like, cult <laughs> mum that has to do all the washing. And like cleaning. The cult madam. Yeah. Look, I'll take it. But apparently like if you're in a cult, you get three meals a day. They put a roof over your head. Like what are the bad things about that? You don't have to have a job. Do you still have their business card? I'll give them a call. (laughs) Give them a shout out. Give them a shout out. Um, Yeah, I nearly – my old weed dealer lived next to um, the Scientology church in – St. Albans. Oh, in St. Albans. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And, oh, no, not St. Albans. Fucking Asco Vale. Asco Vale. Yeah, yeah. Asco Vale. Yeah, that one. And, like, he was like, oh, I'm an hour late, man. So I was like, fuck, man. I guess I might do a personality test. And as I was walking in the building, I was like, man, I am too easily brainwashed. To, like, to I would, yeah, I would have just walked in there. Not walked out. And just never walked out. Oh, I'm exactly the same. Yeah. I'm like, sign me up. Yeah, yeah. My, my my mind is too fragile for that. Like you fucking you, you tell me to Don't join a coin, I'll be there, too. man. Yeah, they you, just say some kind like, words meals? to you. Three meals a day. They yeah. give you a reassuring pat on the shoulder if it's not like too inappropriate. And I don't think this the the it's sex cu- cult is gonna <laughs> just give you. A if you're in a, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. It depends just, what the each meal is though. What is the pat meal? On the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in a sex cult and you have three meals a day and shelter. And I don't have to work anymore. Hit me up. Hit me up. <laughs> Find me on the message the Ishwa page. <laughs> message Ishwa.v on Instagram. And I'll be there. Like what more I will could you want? That, is it? Yeah. Three meals a day. Yeah. Sex call. Like what that's that's all you need. They're, they're providing your electricity, you're not paying bills. I mean, any money you do get, you do have to give to them. And you don't really like have a say in anything in your life. Three meals a day, though. Yeah. Hit me up. Oh, uh, Yeah, I'm still not convinced. <laughs> I'm not convinced either. I'll stick to my Korean fried yeah. chicken and shit. Right. Fuck that, yeah. dude. Yeah. With the, oh, you got the list? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess if we're going to wrap this up, man, we could, we could go for hours, man. If you want to do a part two. We could do it, yeah. Hit me up. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're playing shows this weekend uh, in Brisbane and Nambour. If you're in... Uh, hang on, let me just get the fucking... Let me get the shit out. Oh, yep. So we are playing... um, Fuck. We're playing a brewery in Nambour on Friday. We're playing The Outpost in Brisbane. 
on Saturday, July 8th with Hope Drone, Dream Inertia, and Skirmisher. Uh, the details for Nambor on Friday, we're playing Mort's Brewing Co. with uh, Citizen Rat and Gudgeon. I hope I didn't pronounce that right. Gungeon. Um, <laughs> uh, if you're a fan of Last Chance and this <laughs> podcast, most importantly, we are playing on Saturday, the 15th of July for uh, King Bean and Wayne. Make sure you check out King Bean's YouTube channel. He is a very underrated archivist, uh, filming all the shows and all the bands of this weird scene that we're all a part of. Uh, we're playing with Creep Diets, Chuff, and Festering Genital Orifice. I love that name. I fucking love that I name. I fucking love that name, You know that that's going to be good. You know that is going to be fucking great. Um, and then in the evening, we're playing with Shagnum, Double Over, which amazing oh, yeah, grindcore band. Over. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, amazing awesome. grindcore band from back in the day. I don't know if they're going to be playing many shows moving forward, but this is a special one. And uh, derailment. And if you stick around, I will be DJing. Who are you DJing that night? I guarantee that everybody who comes down that night will get laid. And you gotta, you gotta bring That's a, a serious mark my fucking guarantee. Words. That's some sex call That's promo sex call. right yeah. there, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it, you'll get three well, heels. It, definitely, it, have it definitely won't be me, but let me help you get laid. I, I'm just looking forward to the, what's getting played. Well, that's I, kind of where my DJ career kicked off. It was like, I came in here absolutely fucking hammered one day, and I was like, give me a fucking DJ shift, Shane. You're like, why would I give you a DJ shift? I was like, I can guarantee you that everybody That's right. I forgot about that. Get laid. Like, if you just let me fucking pick the song. What, what's the sexiest song? The sexiest song? Sexiest DJing song. Come on. Come down on the 15th of July. <laughs> Boom. You will find, find out. Yeah. Dripping with anticipation. <laughs> If you want to know, come down last chance, 15th yeah. of July. Yeah. Starts at 2. And where can, we buy, 7 don't forget, where can we buy the albums? Because this is the most important part. Oh, yeah, the album. So we put out an album, uh, Abandon. Uh, you can buy it on our uh, band camp. You can buy it from our record label, Crucible. Crucible. Uh, shout out to Crucible. Shout out to Scott. Shout, shout out to Sam. And, um, yeah, we've got a bunch of records. You can buy our old record. Um, you can listen to it on Spotify. Fuck, illegally download it if I give a fuck. Just listen to it. Um, come to a show. Come to a show. And hang out, man. Yeah, we're uh, we're lovely people. I swear. You are actually one. <laughs> of you the are very lovely band. people. It's like the one everyone, that Leanne will do this. Yeah, everyone in your band is the loveliest, most kind, like such nice people. Yeah. You do it. You, she always comes home. She goes, Jesus. Making us blush. Every man. single time. Every single time. They're just the, <laughs> just the, <laughs> the nicest time. bunch of people. Because like, really? Like, she goes, Yeah, just every experience I've ever had. Like with, with them. every single person in the band. Yeah, every yeah. experience that I've had has just been so. so we would nice. you to like nine in the morning. They're such sweet people. <laughs> they, go home. they just kept buying booze and we're just going. Off. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. No, but thanks for coming down. Thanks for doing no, it. Thanks for having us. Um, um, we look forward to. Uh, Many more good times. Yeah. Um, Looking forward well, to the fifteenth. Um, you guys, yeah, the fifteenth. Oh, I'm gonna be. Oh, I'm not here. Here. You all will be here. If oh, a no, certain I, I might not Leanne be here. Might not be I'm here, just but letting you know be. now. Yeah. Lame, but that's okay. Yeah. That's cool. If yeah. a certain venue pops up uh, later down the track, that's iconic. It may not have a ski lift from one side of Johnson to the other, but, but we can make it happen. We can make it happen. Yeah. But you know. Maybe, maybe. If that happens, if the doors, if you get the keys to the castle, hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. This has been the Last Chance Podcast. Um, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Look, I said the name, said like, subscribe. What else do I have to say? I said do this every time. I think this is when we do the Sleepwalk, Santo Johnny's, and outro, yeah. Mikey. Oh, and it'll get cancelled. I guess one last one. If you're um, if you're in a new band that wants to fucking start playing shows, um, I'm doing some booking work at the moment. So um, get on it. Send me a message, man. I'll fucking I'll give yeah. you a stage to play on. Fucking a.
That's just, important. Yeah. What's your Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is uh, Mickey Nolo. Mickey Nolo. Yeah. Or you could uh, you could find me on uh, Morbid Mondays at Old Bar. Old Bar. Oh, they're good. Yeah. Are you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are you booking Morbid Mondays? Yeah, yeah. Just so I'm taking I'm taking over the Old Bar <clears throat> Monday bookings. Fuck yeah. So um yeah, I'd like to give a chance to some smaller bands that want to yeah. get into want to get into it, man. That's how you start. That's that's how you start, man. You need places like Last Chance. You need places like Aldi. You need small rooms like this. Yep. Cause fuck, if you're if you're playing your first show in a giant room, good <laughs> luck. <laughs> yeah. You need a lot of friends. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time. I think we broke all the cameras. Love you all. Did we break all the cameras? Yeah. We broke all the cameras.